Well, yeah, it's an aggressive lesion. There's an extensive bone destruction along that posterior and lateral margin on the left, and there's also an extra osseous soft tissue component. All right, so location. The lesion is also primarily centered in the vertebral body. Does the patient have any systemic signs? Let's go to the chart. Um, their temperature was okay, but they do have a, white, a high white blood cell count and an abnormal chest x-ray. Maybe this is a systemic condition. Oh, well, the patient also has lesions in other locations, in the thoracic spine and in the brain. So this definitely is a systemic process. It's widespread. So that's going to leave us with the first box, and that's our differential for this case. Metastasis, lymphoma, leukemia, myeloma, and infection. So now we can narrow this down by other imaging features. Lymphoma, leukemia, myeloma, usually more solid enhancement pattern. This one was a peripheral enhancement pattern. Um, metastasis, commonly less cystic, but possible. But we're going to favor infection for this case, given the uh, peripheral enhancement and fluid contents. So this was a case of uh, TB. Um, the patient had sampling of the lumbar collection fluid, PCR positive. They also had disease involving the lungs and the brain and the spine. So mycobacterium tuberculosis, things you want to watch for. Uh, the gibbous vertebra, where there's increased kyphosis and vertebral body destruction. And early in the, the disease, TB usually spares the uh, disc space until late in the disease, um, kind of the opposite of pyogenic uh, discitis, osteomyelitis. Here, the um, TB organism spread from vertebral body to vertebral body, skipping the uh, disc spaces as they travel from vertebral body to vertebral body along the anterior and posterior longitudinal ligaments. And you can see here on this one that it's working its way down and going over the anterior longitudinal ligament to the anterior aspect of the most in, of this uh, inferior vertebral body. Uh, so S muscle abscesses are pretty common with a tuberculosis case. Look for those. And uh, obviously the patients don't get better with antibiotics. You need anti-tuberculosis medications. Great job making the correct choice. Now move forward to the next case by choosing the link in the comments below.